So I was at the uh, standing room last night. Uh huh. Mm hmm. And do you remember when it was the club before that? The Laughing Devil. The Laughing Devil. The laughing Devil. I never, I never went, but yeah. It was kind of a shithole. Yeah. I mean, it was all right. it's a small room, mm-hmm. and then it was like a shitty bar that divided the showroom just by like a big, like a wall made out of like duvetine or something. And uh, they like renovated it, and now that place is—it's almost like cartoonish how much of a death trap that building is. <laughs> you mean like if there was a stampede, if there was like a reason to get out? No, be no. Be, I mean that was already like that. I mean every building in New York is designed to make people burn to death <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> while working for three cents a day. But no, uh, I forget who is walking through the room, and I mean I've looked as soon as they opened that place up, everyone was talking about like. Oh, it's so great now. It's so beautiful. It looks so good. It looks great. It, for, for the most part, it looks exactly the same as it was, except they have like those hipster light bulbs. Yeah, yeah, Those yeah. shitty light bulbs. You can drink. They look like Thomas Edison. You can, yeah, drink, the Edis- uh, they're called Edison light bulbs. Is that what bulbs. they're called? They're yeah. like the ones that are like hooked up to the Frankenstein machine. Yeah, yeah. That made yeah, yeah. Frankenstein. Well, they flipped the orientation of the room too, right? It didn't it used to be like a long ways? You had to like shout down the hallway to perform? No, I thought it was. No, uh, used, that's, what it, that's what I mean. I wasn't there, but that's what people tell me. Yeah, well, maybe I'm misremembering. But the first time I was there, I like severely fucked up my hand in the door <laughs> to like go into the showroom because it like just the hinge as a place to put your hand in, and then it closes on your hand. And they're like, "Yeah, you got to look out for that." And then somebody was walking <laughs> by, and they have these shell. These, no utility at all. It's a it's a three and a half inch piece of like metal that just comes out of the wall. And will like dig into your rib cage as you try and move <laughs> past people. But then the icing on the cake is they have to get ice from the basement, mm-hmm. and the door to the basement is a hole right oh, outside yeah, yeah. of the front door yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't see when you're leaving. Did you fall? No, but Damn. I'm waiting for it to happen. They do a good job. So of I can pass the you. bar and be the attorney. Uh-huh. No, they don't. They make the host stand there with his fucking hand yeah, on the that's door. That's good enough. I for one love the, the shows were room. fun, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Jesus Christ. It's a fucking it's a nightmare waiting to happen. In another life I was an ambulance chasing attorney. You could still be one. Uh, maybe. I have a friend who actually is one of those. He like works for the guy who's like and I will get you the most money for your injuries. <laughs> Do actually, Jews believe in reincarnation? Uh I don't know. They don't have hell. So yeah, I you guess don't have hell, right? If you fuck There's up, Gehenna. you have to come back, right? Which Gehenna? It's, it's a like a... Uh, it's like a kennel where you yell the Jews yeah. yeah. the yeah. stay. <laughs> it's like a spiritual <laughs> washing machine Ugh. or something. Ugh. I need another sun lamp <laughs> in my cage. <laughs> <laughs> a spiritual washing machine? Yeah, you get like... Uh, I I don't know. So I you pop in and I all the... I don't believe in all the afterlife. All the prostitution know. you've done gets washed away. What do you mean? Me? I'm saying or theoretically. I can't, wait, I, can't, I can't wait till Adam's post-atheism. Yeah. And then he's like, yeah, I think I like believe in God, actually. That's, I guarantee and you there's going to be people who start doing no, that. They, do like, first of all, I'm that's already happened. Buddhist. Really? There's already plenty of people that are like... Because atheism was too like mainstream now. Yeah. People are like, I believe in God. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Gavin is Gavin McInnes is an example. Uh, he's like Catholic now. Uh, and, oh. it's, and that's like that's one of, that's one like the last shred of hipsterdom in Gavin's like new public image is... As I, f- I feel his Catholicism. Right, right, right. Which, you know, I'm sure people say, no, he really takes it seriously and goes to church. It's like, yeah, no, I'm sure he does. No way. I'm sure all those Volcom dads really skateboard all over town. <laughs> that doesn't make it not a fucking hipster thing. Yeah. No, I could see that. People being like pretending they believe in God and shit to be yeah. cool. Salino and Barnes uh, injury attorneys are breaking up, guys. Suck Lino and fuck? Yeah, which means that that, that beautiful jingle. Remember Science and Kirk? Oh Who yeah. Was that? Science and Kirk. Yeah, if yeah. you have if you have a phone, you have you a lawyer. lawyer. Yeah. And then it became Science Kirk and Miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Why are you turning the air conditioning? I don't care Come if on, you man, can't play hear. through the pain. What? I just couldn't hear what you guys were saying cuz I AC. sometimes I sit there and I just buck up and Yeah. Turn and the I, air conditioning back now it's on. Gonna it's going to get hot fucking, as shit. Yeah, dude. What, what are you doing? Hot. It's going to get hot. Don't, don't ever know. press a fucking button on my <laughs> electronics Guys, again. Just and it's set to 69, dude. I think it would be better for the show. If no, it wouldn't. The it wouldn't. It you was, can't. It was I'm literally okay, monitoring the fucking seat. show to make sure that the AC is a problem. I'll move my seat. Now I can't see. Stop. Stay there. Here. Come here. Okay. 
Just All come right. in my arms, dude. All right, that's better. <laughs> it's just the AC was right in my ear. <laughs> Whatever, man. Shut up. Yeah. So I hope <coughs> it's Selena and Barnes working no, it out. We're, we're talking about Science, Kirk, and Miles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are those guys? Science and Kirk. If science you have a Kirk. phone, you have a you lawyer. You have a lawyer. I remember asking my mom who our lawyer is, and she was like, yeah. what do you mean? And I was like, well, we have a phone, you fucking dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was like a five-year-old. I was like, we have a phone. Who's our lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't dude. you ever heard of commercials? <laughs> yeah. You fucking whore. <laughs> there's a there's a trans there's a trans uh, personal injury attorney in New Orleans that has like this like New Orleans bounce commercial Hell and yeah. it's so sick. Is it Big Frida? It's is like a, it's like she, a Big Frida type of lady, but she's like, I'll get you the most money, money, money. Oh mo-. it's fuck so yeah, sick. dude! Yeah. That's our official lawyer. Yeah, I mean, she is. Our I mean, lawyer. to me, I find that to be completely normal and not a source of humor. <laughs> I didn't think it was. I think I it's don't cool. think that's something to mock. Uh, I wasn't mocking. I think it's cool. <laughs> I think a trans a woman of, that a source of passed joy. the bar. Yeah. Th- Sorry, can, Nick. We don't. We're not as modern as you, man. That's still something to celebrate around yeah, here. Stav and I are pretty medieval. I, I I happen to be a big fan of the pursuit of happiness to becoming that lady. <laughs> the movie I'm writing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. The, if but Will Smith wasn't trans enough. Yeah. What was the only problem with the pursuit of happiness? <laughs> not enough cocks getting chopped off scenes. Mm-hmm. Um, and in yeah. our movie, I, I, I don't think I've actually seen that movie. I have. Either, have I. Yeah. You know what I saw? We should, have, we should have a Will Smith double feature and do Concussion and Pursuit of Happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Del the truth. Yeah. Hey, Del the truth. Oh, we should do <laughs> yeah. a trans Pursuit Jamaican. of Happiness yeah. and a Jamaican. You do not understand. <laughs> <laughs> Their brains are becoming damaged under the sea. <laughs> What the fuck do you know? You're just a lobster. You're just some Caribbean piece of shit lobster. Oh, fuck. Man, I watched that Jackie Robinson movie, 42. Mm-hmm. What a piece of shit. Yeah. All yeah. those biopics seem... They're terrible. Just so paid like, by numbers and yeah, shit. Yeah, we get it. People were racist. You don't have yeah. to be like... Every scene is just a guy dying to say the N word. How many times salivating? Um, well, I I couldn't hear over how much I was screaming it <laughs> at the TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I had to get these speakers uh, <laughs> so I can yeah. you know hear the dialogue in Adventure Time over right. my constant shouting of the N word <laughs> in the privacy in the time. privacy of even, my own apartment. Are there even black characters in Adventure Time? No, oh, they're like yellow characters. Yeah. That's a type of blue. And <laughs> That's a type. Of, yeah, a yellow. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, fuck my my favorite my favorite slur I've ever heard anyone say is my uh, dad in uh, we were driving to H Mart we were driving we were doing a job in Canesville when a summer that I worked with him mm-hmm. you know my dad's a carpenter yeah and uh, he got stuck in the fucking H Mart parking lot because uh, like two Asians were stereotypically driving bad and he just called them Kitarino Murides which translates to yellow faces mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> just so he's not wrong beautifully like simple get the yellow they're more like a pasty oh shut up oh, okay you're a pasty you get it they're yellow <laughs> compared to you compared to me a lot of people can be yellow well, I suppose no, you're sort true, of yellow dude. I have jaundiced you do look kind of yellow actually um, well I'm a nice tan peachy color I'm getting a tan this weekend. It's 4th of July weekend, I'm folks. Getting, I'm getting a tattoo of Mickey Mouse lowering sunglasses, and he's throwing a big pair of dice. <laughs> nice, That's bro. Cool. Instead of a tan. Yes. Yeah. Bad, Where are you going to get it? On my bicep. Fuck yeah, dude. Bad Mickey. Bad Mickey. Mickey Dice. Mickey Dice. I get discounts at all the car washes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to change my name to Stavros Dice Clay. That's cool. <laughs> I want one of those fucking... El Stavros Dice Clay. El Stavros Dice Clay. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get headshots. I decided, Nick. I'm going to Greece uh, at the end, it's, you know, end of August, September. And when I get back, the tannest I am, I'm getting headshots so people think I'm Latino. And I get That's worked good. that way. That's good. Dude, you can make a shit ton of money doing that. The fucking... Those, like, Rio Grande Valley tours. You just be like, be like all those, like, Valley San Antonio comics. Yes. You just go to these bullshit towns in the middle of Texas where there's nothing but, like, Latinos and Sizzler. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. And they just That's they, a good over, combo. they overeat and they love uh, going to fucking see Latino comedians. Yes. And that's the easiest type of comedy to do. 
Yes. It's like Foxworthy stuff. Chuko, but yeah, yeah, Latina. Yeah. You That's, know where your abuela yeah, don't yeah. give you the gordito. That's what I, 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 <laughs> my favorite. I love when I was a teenager and I'd watch like the commercials for like all the George Lopez specials and like you know the the teaser for it would like you know when George Lopez was blowing up it was like every Latino has uh you know every every Latino has got a low rider you know? <laughs> yeah. And, like, yeah. <laughs> and then you know they would go on and they become like a little bit more obscure it's like every Latino has got a good bandana and a bad bandana <laughs> you got the bad bandana for when you're going out to eat at Wendy's but you got the good bandana for when you're going to church you know it's like that kind of shit <laughs> like I'm all right I guess and then the last one I remember is he's like Every Latino's got a haunted house, haunted room in their house, and everyone's like, "Boo!" And it's like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" There's no way that's true. This is some dumb shit that was caused by your grandmother's mental illness. No, Latinos legitimately do believe in ghosts and shit. Yeah, the Dia de, de, de los Muertos. Yes. Sure, but they all have a haunted every room single in their one. house. No, I mean that's like come every on. single one. That's how they have. They that's, all that's who's doing all the health care. Who you think's watching after all the kids, dude? It's your the ghost experience. grandma. You got a ghost babysitter, dude. Yeah, that's like, another movie. I thought write. that was a joke, but I dated a Spanish girl, and her family legit believed in ghosts and spirits. Really? Yeah. Every, it would be nice. All right. Is that is that because you were so white? They thought they you thought were, I was you were the, the ghost. ghost. Yeah. yeah. They just they, they, the they heard they heard chains. They heard like chains jangling, yeah. but they didn't realize it was all the change you carry around in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, they kept calling me Ebenezer. <laughs> Ebenezer. <laughs> the ghost of conquistadors el, past. El Judeo Ebenezer. Man, imagine being a fucking Spanish conquistador and just like everyone. Basically, they were just living like real life was Grand Theft Auto. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they just got to fucking steal any treasure they want, Rape kill anyone. people. <laughs> <laughs> like, they were just walking through the streets, cutting down people with swords and shit. They're yeah. wearing, like, gold-ass armor. Dude, history was a great time to be alive. <laughs> you know what's a good movie we should watch? Uh, the uh, Mel Gibson Apocalypto. Never seen it. It's sick, dude. We should watch it. Do you see Indigenous Titties? You see plenty of titties and decapitations and stuff. Nice. Um, oh, but it's like everyone was mad at him because of Passion of the Christ. Except for me. I was the only person that wasn't mad I know, at him. People weren't mad at him for Passion of the Christ. People were mad at him because he got drunk and was and yelling Jews. <laughs> yelling about kikes to that like <laughs> CHP officer <laughs> right after that movie came out. And people were like, this is kind of an anti-Semitic movie. And he's like, no, it isn't. Yeah. I saw All the Jews have just oopsie. giant noses <laughs> like, and horns, like little-ass horns. Dude, yeah. I'm, I, I'm always going to apologize for Mel. I think dude. people were more just I mad. I don't care. I don't think it was people that were mad i think it was the the jewish conspiracy that controls the media mad that he uh shined so much he light exposed on them. truth on and the history. true yeah who on the actually true. exactly exactly who I actually agree. killed christ yeah and it was you your i don't people, know about that specifically you your could, family i don't know if you could prove that in a court i can do um, your ancestry.com it traces answer, all the way uh, back to I the got, guy who killed christ <laughs> i got a really good report oh really yeah what you know I'm six percent Jewish. I know. Yeah. You know, know it's like I mean it's it's stupid. That's like blaming the guys that called the police on Michael Brown for his death. What saying Jews killed him? Yeah. Yeah, the Jews like manipulated. They, they tattled. They tattled. They yeah. were tattletales. Yeah. If if Jesus was black, the Jews would just call the cops and he would immediately. They would be, be the guys. <laughs> yeah. the, the Jews are the guys that own that cigarillo store that Michael Brown went into. <laughs> And then the Romans are Darren Wilson. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's the Romans really are analogy. George Zimmerman, and then the Jews are George Zimmerman when he's in the car making the phone call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zimmerman's a better one. Yeah. It's, it's still it's still the Jews' yeah. fault. Yeah, that's that's true. That's a good analogy, boys. That and that's the story hey, of you Easter. Know, you know me. I'm. You know, th this is the analogy minute. <laughs> yeah. The analogy king. All right, here's another one. No, I did stand up for the first time in like three months last night. Oh, nice. how'd it go? So I'm back in analogy mode. That's really all stand up comedy is. Is you say one thing is like another. thing. That's forty percent of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's most of it. it. And 20. then the rest of it is like you know I I, I guess I'm like a I'm like a fucking adult. I'm, I'm a guy. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm a fucking idiot who can't do anything. I guess. Like girl, I don't know. Like girl, am I supposed to date girl? What am I do? You go what like Tinder? Tinder Stop subtweeting my act, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Tinder. 
I get, but I'll eat pussy all night. The hey, breakfast. Whoa, 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 whoa. These are now the these breakfast? are literally now these are literally my bunch of mine. <laughs> Avocados <laughs> if but you're the, nasty. But the breakfast? But yeah. The breakfast? Yeah, write a bit that captures the human spirit like that, you two <laughs> cocksuckers. All right, I've never, make I've never reference more old media. Um, you know, I'm over here like a poet. Like the poet laureate. You're the Bob Dylan Touching of people's guy hearts. Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Touching people's hearts and hopefully their titties and pussies <laughs> after the show. <laughs> if all goes well. Yeah, I had to follow uh, some like Peruvian woman. Oh. And she Peruvian was, and I'm woman? not being mean here, but like she was crushing and I literally couldn't understand half the shit she was saying. She was cru- I think I know you're talking about. She was, doing, she was crushing. Well, she was doing okay. Yeah. But it's like this is indecipherable. I can't understand, you know, what yeah. she's saying. And my experience is universal. So <laughs> I can't imagine that the audience... She was talking about how all the haunted houses in her yeah, abuela's yeah, yeah. home. And you were like... They <laughs> all have a haunted, a haunted house. Is there every room in a house is a haunted room? <laughs> and you know the room is a haunted room? Because when you, in, when you are in a house... There a is Portuguese a, guy having a oh, stroke. Oh, <laughs> there is a... When you are in a haunted room, you can see a ghost. And he said to you, boo... He said to me, boo, I said, you know, no, come to me in my junta room. Because he may be junta, but he's still my house. <laughs> it is still my house. Yeah, why are you Portuguese? <laughs> yeah, it's a gay Portuguese guy with a speech impediment. <laughs> That's the comic I follow. <laughs> uh, fuck. Please give it up for Jehuerge Gilahorpez. <laughs> Portuguese, Portugal's... Portugal's <laughs> best comedian. <laughs> Portugal. The Portugals. <laughs> the Portuguese ghosts. Jar you doing eh? Jar you doing eh? Good crowd. <laughs> it's a good, good crowd. <laughs> Is that how they talk? Yeah, there's very, it's like nasal. Yeah. Mm. yeah, they're retarded. It's a weird yeah, sounding language. It's a retarded country. Have you ever heard Turkish being spoken? Yeah, we were talking about that. Puh, fuck Turkey. Yeah, I fuck can't Turkey. Greece number one, baby. I remember I had a... Cl- <laughs> March 25th, 1821, bitch. Hell what do you yeah. think about that, dude? Yeah, Greek Independence Ottomans. Day. <laughs> Suck this dick, you Ottoman cocksuckers. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad that one guy who sucks is your president now. Yeah, you remember, you remember not Gulen. You remember Greg, Greg <laughs> Bahanish? Huh? Greg Bahan. I was thinking about Ottomans, the f- piece of furniture, but Greg Bahanish in his classic bit. Yeah, I'm I'm from uh, all over the place. My feet are from Iran. My underarms are from Pittsburgh. Oh God! And he's like, well, they got. I was confused in an Ottoman <laughs> with a futon. Because I thought you're supposed to put your foot on it. Oh my God! Oh Jesus! I, I fucking Christ. I love Bahana so much. I don't know Bahana. Is he from Baltimore? Who is that? Is he like a yeah, DC yeah. Guy? He was like a DC Baltimore guy huh. that 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 fucking. Uh, he was like 47 years old. He was like one of those guys that's like got that like. Like, one of those guys that probably graduated high school in, like, 82, 83. Uh-huh. You know, like, uh, uh, like the Trans Am mustache. Right, Spiky right, right. hair, you know, vest kind of guys. Yes. Like, mm-hmm. hell yeah, The guy man. Billy Madison Fucking dr- is drink, he, drinking beers, cool. ju- drinking beers, talking to girls, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, like, the girls are always, like, horribly disproportionate with giant tits and a boy's ass, <laughs> you know? feathered hair <laughs> like those I remember one time he was just getting his like dick sucked by some like middle aged woman in his fucking like 87 Dodge Dynasty <laughs> in, in like the parking lot of Felicitas he's like oh, oh, hold on I gotta go do something real quick <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's a man. Dude. Yeah, dude. Like, that's a real red blooded like American. Sixteen, hanging out with that guy. Yeah, yeah, dude. Greg Mahanish ruled. I don't remember. Yeah, he was so funny. He was just always high. Nice. He was always just high as shit. Fucking like, yeah, man. Hey, brother. How you doing, man? <laughs> oh hell yeah. <laughs> yeah! I love white guys that say had, brother he, he, without like, that. Right. Without, he had a, like, he had a mustache racism. before there was like any kind of like ironic mustache. Right. Of that, course. That, you know, this was like 12, that's just how his face. Twelve came. years ago, so it was like having like a mustache then was like you were somebody's uncle. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. You either were someone's uncle Flanders or gay, or, or gay. literally yeah. gay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that so funny? How mustaches were like clearly a gay thing. Yeah. Why was it? A my gay uncle. Thing? My uncle has a mustache. For ass eating. Maybe just fl- save the the my, flavor. Save my uncle has a mustache. <laughs> he's from like Virginia, and he's like a country. You know, it's kind of the same thing. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, man, hey, how you doing? Like one of those guys. And 
my, I remember like a couple Thanksgivings ago, my cousin, he had a beard at the time and like, uh, not his son, but like my yeah. you know, we're just big family. And so, uh, he's talking to my uncle and, uh, my uncle's like, yeah, I used to have a beard like that when I was in high school. You know, I haven't grown it out really in the talking. And my other cousin was like, uh, when was the last time you, like, shaved your mustache? He's like, well, you know, I like, trim it, like, once every couple of days or whatever. He's like, no, like, just, like, shaved it. He's like, oh, what, like, like completely off? <laughs> he's like, like yeah. <laughs> and he goes, oh, never. <laughs> never, never from the time he could grow <laughs> facial hair my man's lip was yeah. always covered never <laughs> <laughs> you think you'll ever shave it probably not probably not i don't know that i mean i can't rules. i can't imagine a time in my life where he didn't have the mustache I mean, like sometimes it be sometimes it became a goatee but he always at least had the mustache right 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 Fuck, dude, that rules. That's like asking that guy when he cut his nose off the last time. It's like, <laughs> fuck, my dad. My dad's had a beard my whole life, and one time he fucking shaved it off, and he looked stupid as shit, yeah, yeah. dude. He looked fat and ugly. You ever <laughs> see Jake Flores without his beard? No, no. it's hilarious. <laughs> well, he has a puffy face. Yeah, so he's got a, like a moon face. That's so funny. All these guys that look awesome with beards, and it's like you just shave it. It like eldest dude when that cocksucker shaves his beard, his fucking chin droops low as shit. Like yeah. it's fucking. I love that. I'm so fucking mad. Jake looks like Hello Kitty when he shaves. His beard. <laughs> <laughs> just a perfectly round <laughs> oval ass. Cheeks. Oh, Yoko Aku, Yoko Dingu, <laughs> Miki Yono. Uku Gaga Geeky <laughs> Fuck uh, I want a beard uh, Yeah pretty good pencil case <laughs> <laughs> Yeah I'm basically like uh, I'm like a backpack <laughs> Sometimes I'm like a, like a Pencil case or something <laughs> uh, I got like a, a friend that's like a frog Or some shit Another one Does like she a have bat. a frog? Yeah there's a frog in a There's bat. a frog Hello Kitty character Nice What yeah. is it San Remo or something? Don't pretend like you don't know it. Don't just pretend say, like just you say don't the, say the information you know. Yeah. San Remo. Oh, what what is it like? Is it <laughs> what are these? Are these the specific details about that thing? <laughs> you know it, bitch. Yes, yeah, just say it. Say San Remo. San Remo. Yeah, there you go, bitch. Thank you. You're fucking you, bitch. Well, I read the Wikipedia page on San Remo <laughs> just to watch a man be impressed. I want some. Da- I wasn't trying I want, to impress you I want you a guys. beard, yeah, dude. I want I knew a beard you guys transplant. Are already impressed. How do I get a beard transplant? I was dude? I was considering putting Rogaine get, on my face when I was you younger. You think that would work? I don't no. know. Would it? No, it doesn't work. I'll never grow a beard. It's I a need different. To get a beard, it's a different dude. type of. Actually, you know what? It might work, but it would grow the like that peach fuzz shit that's already on your face. Oh, would so be, that would look good. It d- wouldn't. Yeah. yeah, I want just a fucking blonde, oh, light whiskey. ass beard. I would love that. Like <laughs> a soft ass fucking. I would just love a face of arm hair. hair. Yeah. <laughs> I love to just get no. whatever my arm looks like on my. Because the way Rogaine works on your head is like, because y- when you go bald, your hair follicles don't actually disappear; they just shrink to a mm. uh, size where you can't see them anymore. Like if a bald guy like just never shaved his head, there would be like a very fine, thin layer mm. where all that fucking hair is still there. Nice. I'm gonna grow that out. Yeah. I'm gonna have a little blonde head of hair, dude, and comb it to the side. Oh, <laughs> Fuck, I want little ass hairs, little baby hairs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like a very small like clown. A, like fro. a baby shrew. <laughs> yeah. Some sort of like wet kitten. But that shit and would be nice soft pelt. as hell, dude. Yeah. Mm. I would get petted. I just want to get my soft baby hairs petted while I eat pussy. You know what's the best look is a uh, black guy with long dreads that's balding. Yes, absolutely. Oh yeah, big spot Stevie. missing, and they're like and they're like weighing down on his little ass hairs. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like pulling his fucking <laughs> head skin to the side because yeah, they're yeah. so heavy. That look comes free with a Bluetooth uh, headset. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. The Coolio and dude. a belt huge clip. and a huge belt, belt cell phone clip. Yeah. yeah. Dude, cool. I saw so many of those guys at Coney Island yesterday. Yeah, I lo- th- <laughs> Max and I were talking about this yesterday. Like the type of like, I would love to be a, just a middle aged black guy homeowner. That seems like a nice life. Yeah, like the yeah. The, the, the like professional middle class black guy with a cell phone bell clip. Yeah, dude. 
You know? Hell yeah. Mowing your lawn. Right. Bluetooth. You know, yeah. Bluetooth old fashioned. Trying out new phone. restaurants in town. Yes. Chain. New chains. Talking with other fathers at the grocery Saying store. Saying the word foolishness a lot. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. And ding, sleeping. ding, 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 ding. <laughs> That's the uh, that's the fun. No, shut up. We already got foolishness. <laughs> that one wasn't you. That one was stop. So just laugh at stop's joke. It was funny. Don't try to top it. I'm not trying to with top sleeping, it. With sleeping, whatever the fuck. Like no. Oh yeah, only black guys go to sleep. No, right? That's not what I was Is saying. that better than foolishness? Is that a better one? That's not what I was saying. I didn't finish my fucking sentence. Okay, go ahead. No, now I have to go ahead after <laughs> protesting. Now it has to become this big thing. <laughs> Oh, you put me in this position, and you constantly put me in this position. Ah, oh, fuck. No, but yeah, the, yeah Adam's in the missionary position. Right <laughs> yeah, now. we're and fucking stops, him in the ass. Stops hovering over him. I'm spread eagle. <laughs> yeah, my legs are to the side. That's the funniest On way for somebody shoulders. to get fucked. A man mi- to get missionary. Fucked yes. Yes. Missionary. Yeah. yeah, that is really funny. How do you do? You gotta put your you can put legs yeah, back. You can do yeah. it. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll figure we'll that figure out. out. Well, I don't. I, we don't do it, so I don't know. It probably doesn't. You know, it's not different from the way you do it. Have you ever ass fucked from missionary? No, just dog. I've me? only had butt sex like a handful of times. Just a couple. Same. One time I tried to do that, but it was too advanced to maneuver. I had butt sex that night. That girl gave me a. a <laughs> butt job Stop in college. butt job <laughs> It's not a fucking real thing We've What are you talking about you, You're you just singing, singing odes to titty fucking It's literally the same exact no, thing But just with it, a butt That's ridiculous If there was a it's If there the was a hole you could fuck thing. In the titties Then that's different Okay What do you mean You're that, taking two mounds And you're putting your dick Like a hot dog Yeah but there's Two in, things in you can the middle fuck. of a butt yeah, so no, close hold to the on. ass. I'm with Adam here. If the ass if the ass is huge And you can just titty fuck the ass That's what I'm saying Do it Do it for a little bit but yeah, but not, do titty fucking for a little bit. You don't make the titty whole. Titty fucking is a whole thing. No, yeah, stop it's titty fucking for forty minutes, and the girl. <laughs> I, I never said And the girl minutes. is so engaged the whole time and not bored First at all. First of all, you're being a fucking sexist here, thinking women don't like to get titty fucked. Okay, they don't. Oh yeah, maybe the women. I've you never don't met like one. Them. Well, they're out there, baby. Because okay? most of the girls I do don't, think, don't if have. You titty. Like Imagine how many layers of memory foam mattress are required for Stav to sit on somebody's chest. I'm not sitting on anyone's fucking. Yes, dude, come on. Let's not get yeah. crazy. Stop sending them to the sunken over, place. Yeah, yeah. And they're giving me a fun, they're putting their fucking titties. You know, I'm doing a visual thing right uh-huh. now. But they're kind of bending over and doing their titties up and down on my dick. If you like dicks, right? As yeah. which you do, imagine you had tits. Okay. Okay, and you love dicks, which you do. But yeah. it, you wouldn't you want them in between your tits? Well, I don't know. You have tits, so you should tell me. <laughs> All right, that's good. Yeah. However, you're gay and I. Maybe, fine. maybe if you had my maybe tits, you're the one with and tits. your love of dick. <laughs> wouldn't you put the dick in between your tits? Um, no, I would put it in my oh, pussy. Oh, shut up! I would put it in my shut pussy the fuck or in up. my mouth. It shut makes your sense. dumb mouth. <laughs> it makes sense you in a want mouth. You it. You like dicks? Why not fucking put it in between your titties? I mean, for you're like being a, closed-minded. That's what's going on here. Know. You're being close. I think that's just a thing from the movies. It's you know not a thing like from porn, the fucking movie. You know how in porn they do that thing with the dick where you like hit the pussy with yeah. your dick? It's pretty funny. I do funny. that shit. What's wrong with that? I do it all the time because I saw it in the movies, you know? No, Is that like a sense. thing? Were the cavemen taking their dicks and Is like, that like a just thing? doing a little tap? <laughs> is that what? Who does that? Is Shut that up. like a thing? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. What dude. is that from the movies? Yeah, I What's lo- the deal? I only got that from erotic cinema, you know? You would have figured out. You rub your dick around. Erotic cinema. You rub your yeah, erotic. That's what you call pornos. You fucking queer. That's what I call it. <laughs> erotic <laughs> cinema. Okay, dude. <clears throat> anyway, I'm a cinephile, you're on guys. Yeah, you're. I'm a real movie head. You're a pedophile. A cinephile. You like to to, to spew uh, uh, esoteric film information to people until they have sex with you. <laughs> yeah. That's what a cinephile. That's is. actually pretty accurate. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, to children. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen uh, uh, the Grand Accoutrement? Shut the fuck up, Nick. <laughs> you have film struck and you watch like yeah, but I'm not like going four. off about it constantly. When do I go off about right it? Right now. You're talking about when you brought when you try and trick young films. women into having oh, sex yeah. with you. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about porn. Obviously, I'm talking about I'm talking about porno. Porno by, by projecting the veneer of interesting. My, all my conversations now with people are about mortgages. <laughs> mortgages? Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. I don't you know have how fun any it interest. is to just talk about interest rates and all that shit. No, it's no. the best form of small talk. <laughs> but what if the other person has no idea about it? 
<laughs> then I don't Even talk. better, yeah. Nick gets to just talk uninterrupted for yeah, about half I hour. I just spew fucking... No joke, the happiest... Well, 1.5 is that that's, it depends on... You know, Remember how long they talked to that guy about rate. carpentry? Oh. Yeah. No, me and him talked about mortgages. <laughs> Did you? Shouts out. That, what was yeah, that guy's yeah. name? Shouts out to... Uh, he was at Skankfest. So, uh, yeah, it's like t- uh, TRL Woodworking. He, yeah, he's good as shit at Woodworking. Name, but it, uh, yeah, because you follow him on Instagram. Yeah, shouts out to a come boy. I think he lives in Jersey. In Jersey. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Nick talked to someone I think he's about. more of a Skanks fan than a fan of our podcast. But he listens. Oh, all right. I got to say, Nick had a consistent smile on his face for about <laughs> 45 minutes. <laughs> One guy came I think up. I was to smiling. We just talked for like an hour. Oh, and no. Half. One guy came up to You're Nick. Beaming. Remember the guy came up to Nick and was like, I was actually surprised to see you smile. I thought you would be totally <laughs> emotionless. <laughs> I smile. <laughs> I smile. <laughs> that was I'm fun. human. Shouts out to fucking Skankfest. That was a good time. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't talk to anyone about anything, dude. I don't fucking know what to talk. I was real depressed the last couple of days, though, so. Why? I couldn't really leave. I don't know. It just fucking hit me. Because you still should have hit me up. I was yeah, just fucking alone home, in my fucking apartment. Why didn't you hit me up? You should have come know. to Coney. I would have come. No, don't hang out with Adam. You should have <laughs> hit me up. What are you talking about? We could have gone to Manhattan. That would have been nice, dude. We were in Manhattan, me and Nick. You should have just know. joined us. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that day I had. It was a nice day. day. We had, had a great lunch. We had a really nice day. Take, your friends, I take pictures. Yeah. yeah, I would have done. I would have come after. We, had, I should have. Nick I and I had a fun day a, in the city. I, I can't <clears> tell. You know, I always felt like living in Tribeca would be cool, but I was there, and it's like no. He doesn't live in Tribeca though. He lives in Battery Park City, which is like oh. Arlington. Oh, yeah. okay. Tribeca is cool, but uh, well, I felt like I, I felt isolated while I was there. It oh, yeah, like it sucks to live there. Yeah, yeah. I think that's cool. true of a lot of neighborhoods that are even semi-affordable. The only reason, like, f- people are moving to like financial district now, and it's like it's only financial district is fucking weird. Dude. Yeah, it's yeah, weird. It's, it's, and like, it's, it's seven p.m. It shuts, it's like, it shuts yeah. down. Like it's like living in a mall. Basically. Uh, I was Tribeca there one time. Cool, I was like walking around. I was walking around financial district at like two a.m. one night because I used to live in Chinatown, so I would just walk around the city at night. And like da- like downtown Manhattan is a ghost town, you know. Late at yeah. night, and I'm walking around, and I'm on Wall Street, right in front of the New York Stock Exchange, and this like uh, homeless couple, it's like a black man and a white lady pushing like a shopping cart, Ugh. and they come by, and they 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 realize it's Wall white Street, genocide. and the guy's like, oh shit. This is where they fuck everything up. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is Wall Street. He's not wrong. Dude, the, yeah. finan- <laughs> the financial district's so weird. They have these like small streets. They're like the streets are so narrow down there. No, it's because it was yeah. built fucking in the 1700s. Well, I, and actually, like, I thought it was no, actually because like, they were modeled after your dick. They're yeah. like stores. That's true too. <laughs> there are stores that I haven't seen in years. There's, I saw Blimpy Subs. There's a Blimpy Subs on Fulton. What's the deal with the Blimpy Subs <laughs> down on Fulton Street? <laughs> Dude, Can you believe that? Well, who's subs? ever heard of a Blimpy Subs <laughs> Why before? do they have it down there? Before, what, are they trying to make a comeback since Subway Jared? <laughs> I'm just kidding, folks. <laughs> <laughs> they have these small streets. <laughs> one car goes one way, one car goes the other. <laughs> I went. I actually went down. I went down to uh, the, last legs, the financial district, like two years ago, to buy a pipe and pipe tobacco. Hell yeah! Oh, and I remember that face. <laughs> you oh, would yeah. smoke a pipe in your, in your windowless, windowless room. Windowless yeah, room. it was disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I'd say what you want. It got me to quit smoking cigarettes. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it worked. Cool. Did you keep? Do you keep smoking the and pipe? Guy, you start the solving pipe. crimes. Yeah, I did. I did start solving crimes, dude. Smoking a pipe is fucking nice. It's like a cigar. Yeah, it's very similar. Do you it's inhale? Like, you inhale do you? No, you don't. You oh, just okay. you sort of pump it around in your mouth. You get like a and they smell great. So it's like burning incense. Um, yeah. But then you get like a real just mellow body high from it. I'm down. Yeah. Oh, fuck Ernest. I'm down to smoke a pipe, dude. Yeah, smoke a pipe, get some but corduroy. The, uh, they're real expensive pipes. Really? I bought the one I got was fifty dollars, and it looks like a it looks retarded. Really? Yeah. Fifty dollars for like a shitty one? Yeah. Hmm. Well, because it's a, a specific type of wood, mm-hmm. and then the salesman was telling me, and you can always believe everything a salesman says. <laughs> yeah. Is you want to have two pipes, one for English blends and one for Turkish blends? Yeah, that makes sense. Because you don't want to mix the oils. The races. Mm. Yeah. That makes sense, dude. The you oils, the oils are different. Safe. So if you smoke like a Turkish blend in an English blend pipe, it'll fuck up whatever resins deposited in the pipe, and the flavor won't be. What consistent. about KB, dude? Kind bud. What about KB in that pipe, dude. That'd be cool. 
I, I, I only smoke K2 out of... <laughs> you smoke spice out of pipes? Spice, dude. Yeah, stop. <laughs> uh, my stomach's been fucked up the last couple of days. All, all of the smartest guys in history smoke pipes. Oh, yeah. Einstein. Winston Churchill. St- uh, Sherlock Holmes. George mm-hmm. Michael from Wham. Did yeah. he smoke a pipe? I don't know. The other Ch- guy from Ch- Wham. Ch- Ch- What's going on with Wham? Was it was George Michael the guy and who some sang? Other guy. Or the other guy was the other guy that produced I think it. Was George, like they both sang. George Michael like, sang. No I think one, only no George Michael about sang. The other guy. No, I listened to a whole Wham album. My little brother had a CD in his but car. You can't tell who's singing if you're nah, just you listening. No, you could tell, dude. You could tell George Michael. It I sounded like George be Michael your the whole father time. Figure. <laughs> that song is the funniest song. Yeah, What's dude. the deal with that George Michael song? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. Fuck. Oh, good for George Michael, dude. Guys. Trying to get sucked off in a bathroom. Who amongst us would not? By a cop or something? Who amongst us? I don't know. That's, that's, what, happened to, that's what happened to fucking... You, ever, you see that movie, Beautiful Mind? Mm-hmm. That yeah. John Nash? You ever yeah. read the book? No, but it's like he was gay Oh, yeah, I think you something. said that. You told us there was some <laughs> other shit they left out. They left out a bunch of shit. He was like a kind of a real piece of shit. His wife right? was a Mexican? Well, he had, he had a, a woman that he was like fucking <laughs> prior to marrying... Uh, uh, Eleanor or whatever fucking yeah, the name. one, the, the one yeah. the hot lady plays. The, the one that movie. yeah, Jennifer, Jennifer Connelly, Connelly plays. She they had this good. other woman that he fucked with that he wouldn't marry because she wasn't smart enough. Nice. It wasn't like prestigious enough to have like a fucking you know assistant wife or whatever. Nice. He knocked her up and then he had this like secret kid that he neglected. Nice. That's now like that was just not in the movie at all. <laughs> uh, who like is a strange or was a strange from him until he died last year, but. Uh, yeah, he like he spent time working for like the Rand Corporation, and while he was out there, he was arrested for like trying to fuck a cop in a public bathroom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> woo! Yeah, <laughs> brr, brr, brr. which is like let's put Hell that yeah. law back on the book. What How kind of this? cop? A dude? beautiful ass. Yeah, a beautiful cock. That's your job, huh? Like the the gay the like trapping gay guys and having sex with you cops. If you're one of those cops, Cruising. do you think any, every once in a while you just fuck That's a guy sh- for yeah. fun? Have you seen just that movie? What if he's up? cute? <laughs> yeah, just suck him off. Stop. Really you'd like that movie, Cruising. Oh, I haven't seen it. It's, it's so Al, good. It's Pacino? Al Pacino. Yeah. And he plays. Uh, there's a gay. I detective. like it, so I'm gonna there's guess a, it's about fucking. There's a beautiful gay women. serial killer. There's a gay. Se- there's a serial killer killing gay guys. So yeah, Al Pacino yeah. has I'm to board. go so. undercover as a gay guy. Nice. To catch it's a really good movie. <laughs> and he's it's like, actually, "Hello." It's actually not a good movie at all. I remember it being. Pretty Where good. are my fellow homosexuals? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's like a bizarre movie. Hell yeah! And Wait, it's weird like that it's weird that, that Pacino it, right? is in it. I don't, like it doesn't make sense. He probably thought it was going to be a much better movie than right, it was. Right, right. But was There's it before or after Philadelphia? Maybe it was like when it was like all in the vote. Like nineteen eighty, I think. Is yeah, it was like seventy nine or eighty or. Something. You think he like made Angels, Angels in America to, to like Who, make Pacino? up for it? Yeah. I mean, th- that was that's just one of the most amazing. Have you ever seen it? Nah, it's you know what I did see yesterday though, RoboCop. That shit rules. The new RoboCop one or the old one? Good. The old one, the first. The one. old one is incredible. Paul it's Verhoeven, so good. Yeah. Verhoeven's baby. I just uh, rewatched uh, Total Recall. Last that night. shit rocks too, dude. I love Total Recall. I love Total yeah. Recall. Three and, you know, the remake dude. is. Oh yeah. Is, oh yes, brother. Here's, here's my. You can say that again, my friend. <laughs> my my unpopular <laughs> movie opinion: the Total Recall uh, remake or reboot or whatever is. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I watched it. I know a lot of people didn't like it. The RoboCop remake is good too. Yeah, it's all right. And that's the thing is like, there's a lot of these movies where they'll do like the original RoboCop is great. The original Total Recall is great. And yeah. They'll remake it, and people are so like burnt Exhausted. on remakes yeah. because a lot of the times they take a movie that was just okay and then they make a shittier version of it, right, right, like right. Red Dawn or whatever. Right, right, right. But like with Total Recall or uh, Robo RoboCop, it's like, well, they really, why are you even fucking doing this? And then they made a movie that's like different. Right. It just uses like sort of the same story or cues, mm-hmm. and then they go a different direction with it, and it stands out in its own right. Mm-hmm. And I, I feel like Total Recall like accomplished that, and then a lot of people wanted to compare it to the original and say like, oh, this remake wasn't necessary. As if a remake really needs it's to be necessary. necessary. Right. Yeah. I'm a right. big Colin Farrell fan too. He's got a huge dick, apparently. Does he? Yeah. There was a scene in a movie. Me. They were testing it out. They were testing his dick they out. They were testing his dick out. Yeah. No, they were like, you know how they have like screenings when they have the non-finished versions? Oh, uh, yeah. We're going to need yeah, your yeah. dick to block <laughs> out uh, the actress's <laughs> scenes. So you can just pull your dick out. But there was apparently a scene where he does pull his dick out and people were mad. Like his dick is so big, people were mad. 
<laughs> I saw this movie recently where Jason Schwartzman took his dick out and it was massive. What? And then you realize that it's part of the plot that it's like a oh, it's a fake. He's dick. wearing a fake dick. But me and my roommate were sitting next to each other. We did that thing where we're like both acting like it's normal, and we weren't surprised that <laughs> Jason, Jason Schwartzman had like a fucking twelve foot dick. We're like, yeah, that's normal. That's what dicks look like, dude. For me, for yeah, me, my dick uh, is mine looks huge, like that, dude. Um, yeah, my dick is so fucking humongous. But um, what were you, yeah, we're doing a show uh, <laughs> with the United States Senator, though. What? Come town. We are. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're doing well. It's either gonna I guess, be. Uh, first of all, Adam <laughs> asked about doing Benson Ball. I didn't. No, and I then, was. It didn't go down. Oh, no, exactly that's not like how. That. That's not how it happened. Is they asked about what Chapo? Chapo. Did they? they wanted Chapo. They reached out to Adam to book Chapo. Hilarious. Chapa. And I'm and like, Adam why was like, ask he? us while we have yeah, our own it's like, fuck Yeah. It, it, so I was like, why don't you book Come Town? Yeah. Dude? Fuck that. And I then mean, the guy goes. The guy goes. Uh, Nick's a piece of shit or whatever. No, he said Nick is. Is uh, notoriously Ugh. unreliable. Shut the fuck. Which is up. like, first of all, does that mean? I am not unreliable. I'm pretty reliable. You're pretty reliable. The people that think I'm unpredictable are trying to like wrap their head around the fact that I'm like kind of a piece of shit and I'm <laughs> yeah. still friends with people because right. I'm not like a dick on an interpersonal level. Right, no, right, right. Yeah. You're a good friend. Well, I'm an okay friend, right. but they're Just like, oh, crazy. well, he doesn't... Yeah, he's a fun friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't <laughs> say the exact same shit I say. Right, right, right. So he has to... Like, I don't know. Is it irony person. or whatever? It's yeah, like, yeah. no, Take- I just have some shitty opinions because they feel good to have. <laughs> <laughs> it feels good to feel racist <laughs> things sometimes. <laughs> and to say them it's earnestly. power it's the dark side yeah right exactly <laughs> I'm like some You're kind of super that, Jedi though. that does a little bit of the dark side stuff. you know that was like the, the story I imagined in my head when I was a kid it was like it would be badass if there was a guy that was like a dark side Jedi but good but yeah, you know like but he, Blade, dude. that he was cool but yeah, he was, yeah, yeah. cause he's dark he was good to have bad he's thoughts and he could have have people bad. would still be friends with him <laughs> <laughs> still invite him to his birthday party <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's the that's I'm like that Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm that one. I'm like Darth Vader. But anyway, what dick. happened? I, I have a dick. About this. Yeah, so he's oh, like he's like oh, you know oh Nick's unreliable or and whatever. I'm like, so I can't we can't book him. And then he's like. Are you part of Come Town to Adam? So he's like, he has no awareness of what the show Doesn't even know is. Adam's in it. He doesn't know it? the show. Yeah. He <laughs> doesn't know what the fucking show is at all. He's just I asking love that, me. Dude. And then, and then he's like, come up to me and sometimes. Then, yeah. yeah like, and when he's like backtracking, he's like, okay, well, maybe we can book you. He's like, you want to do a live show? He's like, well, let's think of a fun guest. Maybe uh, Corey Booker or oh Ian McKay. Oh, my God. Ian McKay or Senator Corey yes, Booker. Yes, give us Corey Booker. Are you no, kidding me? No, when dude, in the no. world would Senator Corey Booker dude, come Come down? on. Wouldn't that be fucking hilarious? No, like it would It would suck. Of course conceptually, it would suck. It would suck. Conceptually, <laughs> it would be good. we call him gay good. and shit and like, you know, it'd be yeah, funny. Yeah, a, a nice three-minute live That's podcast. Fine. <laughs> that would be like, who's the hottest girl you ever yes, fucked? Yes, dude. <laughs> yes. Yes. You make fun of him being cross eyed. No, I, was saying, a I, was, I was saying you just ask him questions about Corey in the house. That's good. You say that's based on your life. <laughs> yes. You that's grew up in good. a hotel. <laughs> I think that's the plot of Corey in the house. I think what so is that? Well. I don't even know what that is. It's like a Disney channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a black kid. With that little black kid that was like always crossing his arms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, but you know me. Yeah. yeah. Corey. <laughs> now I'm in the house. Dude, that would be and funny. Nobody can say I'm not. House, so, house Corey. That was the original name <laughs> of that show. It was really infuriating because they... Yeah. Uh, oh, I see we got a house Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, Senator. <laughs> I'm a field Corey. Oh, who's, that guy, who's that guy that like produces every single Nickelodeon show that everyone says is like a like notorious sex creep? Uh, I don't know. There's that guy who did every boy band. No, uh, Dan Lou something. Perlman? Dan something. Uh, the Soder. guy from Head of the Class. Saint Germain. Not, I don't know. not Chaim Saban. No, no, no. There's this guy Dan something. <laughs> Saban. He's Power like Rain, he, he, you know what he created all that, I guess. Uh, but he like produ- he like produces, He's the Lorne Michaels like, of all that. He's like the king of Nickelodeon. All those shows. shitty like all the, yeah, and stuff all like that. of those shows. But there's a, there's Nickelodeon and, like and there's also the Disney Channel stuff version. It's a rumor that he's like a like a like a big creep. I mean, I would assume so. Every like, why else would you fucking do those? Make those horrible shows if you're not fucking children? Because he's like funny and good at writing. Those shit suck. You would make actual 
Dude, you gotta separate things. the art, dude. You gotta separate the art from the people. That's so true. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't think you everybody that works with children is automatically That's a not pedophile. Funny. But you know what? If you just like, said, why else would you make those <laughs> shows? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. And they're like, you know, I mean, Sesame Street is pretty good. <laughs> it's a shame everyone that works on it fucks kids. It is a real no, shame. Because how else is my four year old going to learn triangles <laughs> unless he watches Sesame Street? It's a shame you I have to support these pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> that only make the show to rape children. No, dude. Working with little ass kids and like... Uh, there's no good way for me to argue this point. Yeah. Uh, that I was being 100% serious yeah, Every single earlier. teacher in America. Yeah. Um, but if... <laughs> no. So anyways, Senator Cory Booker is going to be on the show in October. Live show in DC. <laughs> so you can, you can look forward to that. Yeah. Um, oh, fuck. That's so funny. Yeah, but it was so, like, insulting where he was like, dude, we can't book you unless we attach real talent. And I'm Suck like, my dad. What do you mean like, real talent? Well, he, well, he didn't even say real talent, but that that was the implication. He said, unless we yeah, attach talent. Notoriously. I need some way to n- sell n- it. Notoriously or if it's someone successful I knew from podcaster fucking five no, years no, it ago. it was Brandon. It wasn't Brandon. It was it was Jeff. But, you know, but I'm saying like who the, the fuck guy, they book? I mean, we could talk about. I don't. Have, I have no problem talking. I mean, but about what I'm saying is, is. They, you know, what? Who, look it was, they fucking it was book. Jeff. Jenton. Even when we were in DC, they wouldn't book us. Remember, they fucking put that bullshit like yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah. that um, bullshit fucking local showcase like 4 p.m. Yeah. You always you always get that treatment though, huh? You always get that treatment. And see, but I'm not. I don't get salty about that shit. When I was in DC and I did Benson Ball, you crushed on that. It was a fun show. Yeah. yeah, and you know, but it's like at the time I wasn't a fuck fucking particular draw i had maybe what like seven thousand twitter followers right yeah i'm not complaining about not being uh, like as highly billed as uh brody stevens or whatever the right, fuck it right, was right, 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 right. you know and I, I still don't complain about that well shit. no that and I, 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 I still don't complain about it now because it wasn't dc people. it's it's like mm-hmm. uh, but now i am in a position where if somebody like if benson ball or whatever approached and said like hey we're gonna like do your podcast but you know we need somebody that's draw it's like yeah okay then i'm not doing it because yeah. well you fuck d- you if i Obviously, if you know what the podcast is and you know it has an well, audience, they don't know what the podcast then is. I, then yeah. don't book me. I don't right, give right, a shit. Right, right. I like have enough leverage now where I don't need to take things like that. Yeah. So I wouldn't do that festival if if there was a requirement that but, that they they have say over who is on the show, yeah. how the show is run. Right, right, right. Any oversight suck my dick. But this yeah, guy, yeah, yeah. this guy that's that was we were talking to is also this guy who is like there have been national. Uh, articles run in the last like six months about how he's a restaurateur private citizen journalist oh, shit. who has right. dedicated his life <laughs> to uncovering the Trump Russia conspiracy <laughs> there's like a Daily Beast article about it hell yeah dude. and I always get like every couple of months I'll get a text from him that's like dude we should get a drink we should talk funny moms we should talk comedy I'm a producer you're the talent let's get it together and then you know like we never meet up but like yeah but then this article popped off a couple <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, Hell and I just can't get enough of it. <laughs> I can't get it up. It's, um, it's about fucking... Well, look. Uh, you know, book us with Cory Booker. No, we're going to do our own show with Cory Booker the same weekend <laughs> as Benson Ball. <laughs> Might as well. There's no reason not to. That no. would rule, dude. And we're going to get the fucking Kennedy Center. Ooh, we're going to yeah. sell out a 1,000-seat venue. It's going to be us... Cory Booker, we Ian should do Mackay it in- from yeah. Fugazi. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the thing. It's like, you know, as far as like the mentality of like, fuck the industry or whatever, or, you know, fuck the clubs, it's like I'm. They're not I'm industry. Fish, yeah, I'm ambivalent towards most of that shit. It's like the, 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 the industry, for the most part, is like it's uh, risk versus reward with a lot of stuff. So if you do like, you know, the clubs will offer you a shit deal on the weekend. If it's a shitty club, it's like it's probably as much as they could afford. Right. Or whatever. And right, you always right, have right. the opportunity to say no. But comedy festivals are like unique in that they're new. They're built on exploiting people that yeah. want to fuck yeah. it. Not, you know, That's people that want to have a career. So they'll, they'll, you know, abuse fees or whatever. So if I'm, you know, in any kind of position where I can say, fuck you to a festival or gouge them or not do what they want to do and make it a a hassle for them to Mm -hmm. to poach my (laughs) audience, then 
Absolutely. Right. I'm going to fucking do that because it's a shitty business model that's designed to fuck people over and all that talk of opportunity or, right. uh, uh, you know, a way to advance or be seen is it's just absolute a bringer. fucking horse It's a bigger shit. bringer. Yeah, it's a bringer well, and it's, they're all It's also, suckers. this is like more of an atypical festival because it's not run by like people that are technically industry. But it's run by like, it's run by a, a culture website in Washington, D.C. <laughs> that <laughs> once a year co-produces a festival with Tignatara. And then yeah. a couple of years ago, uh, people were submitting. And I don't remember. Did they have a submission fee a couple of years ago? It was like It wasn't bucks. a fee. I think it was free. Maybe there was a fee. I think there was a fee. I can't remember. But it was all a scam. Thing. I mean, they didn't watch They didn't any watch the, the video. Yeah. No, they people knew were, they people were, were watching. They they were people were looking yeah. at the views on YouTube and nobody had watched their tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, whatever. That's Again, that's why, that's why Skankfest fucking rules. They pay everyone. Of Although, course, you know it's like they fucking they do. They're not gonna fucking, you know, uh, do something where they exploit and it's, anyone. It's funny because it's so easy to understand. Yeah, it's like such an easy, and it's like all this like fucking moral signaling that comics do about like. You know, I don't know, mostly identity stuff or whatever. And like people like Lewis get a bad rap because they say the N word and right. you know, he owns a gun and he's killed a couple of minorities. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. He stood his ground. No, yeah. but the thing is, is like Lewis's like uh, 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 interacting with a community where people are traditionally exploited for their yeah. labor and he's like correcting that 100% and, with a proof of concept that yeah you can have a successful festival where everybody gets paid we charge admission fees everything runs smoothly and you know yeah. no, mm-hmm. nobody gets fucked over and it's like who else is doing that exactly who the fuck else is doing that yeah it's like what the f- I mean he yeah that is the best model for anything that's happening in comedy the Legion of Skanks pays their guests that's the only podcast that, that I know of that like pays guests you know mm-hmm. and it's just so simple to think like oh yeah we should try to get everyone paid instead of being you know self-serving cocksuckers that are happy to just say right. like oh well i actually hate donald trump so yeah. that's, that's my contribution is that, well, that's uh, a, i mean i think also like is that i go to open mics and say like maybe we should listen to women <laughs> <laughs> you know when we yeah. charge them to yeah. submit to our comedy festival we should like mm, like listen to them for a change maybe ah uh, fuck let's do cum fest yeah, huh? Come I was talking with Adam's friend about doing a uh, an ICO, an initial coin offering on a cryptocurrency oh. <laughs> on Cum Coin. On Cum Coin. Cum Coin, dude. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I don't know what the utility would be. Probably to subscribe to podcasts. Yes, exactly. You know, a podcast based currency. Yes, podcast currency. <laughs> but the way it works is, you know, you have the coin offering, and then they. It trades like securities or whatever, so you know we become rich overnight. Sell off all the coins um, before the price drops, Smart. and just defraud hundreds perfect. of thousands of people. Perfect. Yeah, we just. But we have money. the money. Yeah. 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 Perfect. As long as it's not comedians. It's like it's like <laughs> it's like boiler room. Oh yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. I can't wait. Yeah, dude. I'm Vin Diesel. No, you're not. Was he in Nick is room? Giovanni Ribisi because he's Scientologist. You're vagina diesel. Vagina. That's what Vin is short for in your no, it's in not. your circumstance. No, it's not. It's short for vagina diesel. No, it's not. Because in jail they, they were like, Man, this boy got that diesel ass pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a clutch pussy That's a he got. Strong pussy, dude. Yeah. That boy that boy Vin John man Vin Gina. Vin Gina look good. Amber had never Vin Gina se- Amber's like never a- seen any of the Fast and Furious movies. Oh, what? Nice. So yeah, so I I made her watch the first two. The other night, they're good movies. Um, no, the first couple. Th- are. It's the fun franchise. I wouldn't say they're good movies. Yeah, the, yeah. The they're first like, movie is okay. The yeah. second one is like unwatchable. The second one's terrible. The third one is a it's masterpiece. Cool. Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift is it's one, great. Is I've never seen one Tokyo of my Drift. favorite movies. It's really. I saw good. the first one at East Point Mall. Tokyo Drift has none of the characters though, except for it does. It have the Vin characters. Diesel it just takes up? place in between six and seven. Yeah. So, oh really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. The chronology is like one, two, four, five, six, three, seven, eight. Hell yes. Is Fate of the Furious the last one? Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I haven't seen one. that one yet. We can make another one. I haven't seen it either, but it's available for rent on iTunes right I now. I saw it. I saw it on a fucking brownie, and I have no idea what the fuck happened. I took so many edibles, I fell asleep right Was in the Fast middle. 7 was the one with the Wiz Khalifa song? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. That's a good song. <laughs> I tear up every time. R.I.P. Paul. R.I.P. Paul. I'm mad I didn't go see Fast 8 in theaters. New That's York the thing Times you update. Go. 
That's you got it shut. Good. Don't read the fucking news off your phone. What does it say? They just told us uh, what everyone knows already that Donald Trump tweeted the oh, the, the gif shit. of him that uh, you ruled. clotheslining. <laughs> I'm voting for him. It's over. It's done. 2020. It's he's cool. Gonna, he's going to be an eight-term president. <laughs> eight-term president. Eight-term president. <laughs> Fuck, he's going to be 32 so years of Trump. Yeah. He tweeted um, it. CNN and a guy he's clotheslining and beating the shit out of someone. Dude, oh. the the, the re- sixty nine more years. years. I, I like like any. I'm so nauseated with like any attempt to like tone police Donald Trump. They're like, yeah. this is unprecedented, yeah. sir. This is beneath can the you, office. Can you believe that he did? Yes, of course. He's a fucking retard. That's of what course. he. That's yeah. what he does. That's why people voted for him. Yeah. I just and it's like just fucking beat the, outmaneuver him if he's such a fucking. And you know buffoon. what? I mean, the the flip side is the economy is better than it has been in the last eighty seven years. <laughs> this is the best the economy's been. <laughs> there are more jobs. Yes. Wages are higher Keep than going. ever before. Yes. <laughs> uh, homelessness and joblessness that are all time low. Zero percent. All time low. Yeah. <laughs> Never been this fucking bad. <laughs> It is true that everything you're saying is true. Yeah, yeah. There's no disputing. The you can't fact. argue with that. When you look at the hard numbers, he's the most successful pl- president there is. The only, thing, <laughs> the only, the only problem is the approval rating, and that's because they, you, who's answering their phone for, for polls about the president? Weenies. So nerds. true. Yeah, that's nerds. People home alone. Tattles. Is this my girlfriend? No. That's bitch. who's picking up. Of course not. Yeah. We're, t- we're tattling on the president. <laughs> I'm here with CNN and we're tattletailing on the president. <laughs> would you like to say that the president is bad? <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> Get him. Get him, CNN. <laughs> listen, listen, Nick. I know you love him, but like I any day him. now, the Russia stuff's finally going to come yeah, to a head. Yeah. It's and he's be, out of there, it's baby. Be Jeff, dude. Jeff is going to get it. <laughs> Jeff has been texting with uh, with Stephen Miller in the White House oh, getting intel. Absolutely. <laughs> Soon enough, they are going to get him. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Ah, uh, fuck. God um, damn, dude. Yeah, so we, so we, the conclusion is we're decidedly pro uh, Donald After Trump that, and the yeah. wrestling gif. Um, so, yeah, I'm I'm actually turning in my, I burnt my DSA cuck card that we all get. <laughs> we all get a cuck card. It says you're an official socialist organizer slash cuck. Uh-huh. Um, I burnt it and now I'm, I traded in for What's my What's it like hat. being like a cool socialist guy? What is it? What's it like being like a cool? Brooklyn I haven't been. A, guy? I'm not really a socialist, dude. I'm no, you're in the DSA. And I paid them forty dollars. You live in Brooklyn, and you know what? you like. Bringing yeah, they wouldn't let like me because I live in news. Queens. Yeah, sucked, dude. Look there's a Queens DSA. No, I'm kidding. It's all Kevin James types. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Calling women Queens. <laughs> hey, God, Kevin James's life is my is the life I want, dude. Why? I want to marry a hot bitch like Leah Remini, dude. I'm that trying to be. I'm trying to be a wacky uh, Kevin or? Games, right? Uh-huh. And it's like I'm Kevin James, but I just play video games all day. Oh, that's uh, good. Cool. Yeah, that's yeah. very good. Man, I was like, uh, I've been playing Battlefield a lot, and I know that like, I guess I did. I didn't realize it till now. Like the guy on the front of the box is a black guy. Mm-hmm. And I guess that's because there was like some black battalion, battalion, in, World battalion in World War yeah. One. Um, but then I was playing as the Germans, and then I was a black guy again. Well, they got French black guys, and like, well, there are French black guys. They were in the sure. Algerians I don't know if they were shit. in the war. In, yeah, I'm in, sure they, they were. were in Africa. They were in the front lines. What are you kidding me? They in put Africa, them up to get not, shot. Not in like the European theater. In North Africa, I think so. Yeah, yeah I really sure. don't know that much about World uh, World well. I don't know if it was North Africa. It was like African colonies, like yeah. East Africa. They were fighting down there. I think so. Yeah, yeah the heart of sure. darkness in World War One. Yeah, uh, but. Well, it's funny because, like, they do that shit because of Gamergate and because of, like, all this shit that the gaming industry, like, you know, they got flack for not having enough diversity. Like, I, originally, Battlefield 1 was supposed to have women soldiers in it, which I didn't, like, I, did, like, I just read uh-huh. read online. And uh, they pulled it for whatever reason. But, like, with all the black guys in there, it's like, it's still a game where you just go around murdering black people. <laughs> yeah. Like I can't see my character. I, I see me running. I'm I just, it's my it's eyes POV, as I go around FPS. shooting black men speaking German. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is a twofer for some racists. I guess. You get the, the fuck. Yeah. Kill blacks that are I don't also know if German. you achieved what you were going for here yeah. is like a, 
to, you, to teach some violent 10 year old that the actually the real nazis were black were guys the black. <laughs> 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 oh fuck uh, <sighs> stop you're going to the beach today yeah, i'm about to go to the beach baby damn i wish i liked going to the beach come on hop on no i gotta stay home and do some stuff oh fuck bitch i'm gonna eat ham buy some groceries <laughs> sounds gay Watch a couple of movies. I'm about to get golden brown. I'm about to get crispy, my bitch. I have to run some errands. Then I'm going to the pool with my new girlfriend. You got a pool? She's got, got a, pool. a pool. She's she belongs to a fancy health what? club. How she's what? Like 18 years old? She's 17, uh, 27. 17 year old girl. Can I get into the pool what? as well sometime? She believe she Do belongs she got, to a fancy New York she City health friend? club. Do she got a friend? I could ask. Hey. Hey. Now we're hitting pools together, my dude. Hey. Now that's that, the dream. That were the pool. That's boys. the dream. Cabana boy. <laughs> yeah, dude. I wear a speedo, whatever Fuck you need. You guys, I'm going on a hot air balloon ride by myself. <laughs> <laughs> all alone. Just smoke my pipe up. This there. is where I could be alone and yeah. happy. <laughs> Listening to Avenge Sevenfold, my hot air balloon. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. <laughs> my hot air balloon that's that's all black, and then on the side in like psycho font, it says. Uh, they laugh at me because I'm different. I laugh at them because they're all <laughs> they're the same. All <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm dude. My fucking badass <laughs> hot air balloon. Floating above <laughs> fucking Williamsburg. I really want to <laughs> really get you that God, t-shirt. Hey, oh, dude. no. There's that goth hot air balloon guy. <laughs> Stupid you would, humans. You would set off a frenzy of people getting hot air balloons if you did that, dude. It would, that would rule. rule. Man, I was so annoyed with that fucking rainbow yesterday. I got off the train. I saw the rainbow. I'm like, oh, that's nice. And no, I checked my phone an hour later and everyone. it's just fucking ruined by everyone. Like, hashtag Brooklyn Rainbow. It's a rainbow 2017. Yeah. And I know today is just going to be filled with like BuzzFeed. You look at the rainbow that's going to stop Donald Trump. <laughs> just Dude, let the sky be I was at Coney Island itself. yesterday and Having that a, rainbow was one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Shut the fuck up. I'm serious, Dude. dog. Shut up. I'm serious. <laughs> just shut the fuck up. No, no, I'm not going to apologize. Don't have, I can just, uh, I'm not going to apologize. And there were two of them. And so you have to do a podcast about the rainbow, huh? I'm not doing it. You brought it up. To explain why people like you are. Adam, you're holding the mic the way we make Make fun of people for holding the mic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, you guys, uh, <laughs> little bitch ass mic grip. I've never held it this way. You know who used to do that? Uh, Mat- Mat- Matis. Matis Yahoo. Matis, Matis Yahoo. Yahoo. I didn't know he held the mic. Our old way. friend from DC. <laughs> he used to hold the mic this way. Oh, Matty. Yeah. Oh. Is his name short for Matis Yahoo? Yeah. That's his full name. That's hilarious. I know. Yeah. Why doesn't he go by Modest Yahoo? That would be sick. He's a bitch. My name's Modest Yahoo. <laughs> I love bananas. <laughs> I really love eating bananas. Uh, the thing about money. a banana is you have to eat it. <laughs> um. Anyway. <laughs> So uh, yeah. somebody sent me a clip of them doing a better Homer impression to me. Oh, that's that's. Was so. it good? Yeah, it's pretty. You good. said it's better than yours. Better than fuck mine, them, dude. Who cares? Let's fuck so them up. So Shane Vader, you are no longer allowed to listen. Let's run to up Shane. on him. Shane, he's a nice guy. No, let's I'll, run up Shane. And, let's canceled. run up on Shane. He's done. Fucking bra- he does a bra- better. Bra- he does bra- better. Bra- uh, well, he's can- fat. Canceling his subscription to the show. Yeah, tell him. Tell him uh, he has to pay Nazi if you, pricing. If you, if you look, you can one up my jokes on Instagram. I don't give a shit about that. You can say whatever you want. Go ahead and insult me. I'll, if it's funny, I'll laugh at it. But do not ever try to one up my impressions. <laughs> ever. Don't ever do it. That's the one thing you can't do. Yeah, I agree. All right, I'm trying to go you to the beach. You can't take Homer away from me. Yeah, so fuck him. Fuck Shane. Fuck you, Shane. <laughs> no, not fuck Shane. Congratulations, Shane, fuck for Shane. making. Shut up, Adam. For rattling. I me. agree. Shane's a piece <laughs> of shit. Uh, um, <clears throat> Does anyone have change for a button? <laughs> that Shane guy is a real asshole. Can you do um? You're gay. Like haha. What's yeah. the little kid? <laughs> Ralph. Uh, Ralph, yeah, that's the only one I could do. I'm gay. No, it's like Adam's gay. I'm so hungry I could eat at Arby's. That sucks. That's the worst. That's sort no, of Marge. That bad? It's closer to Marge. That's than fucking it is. so bad. I'm dude. so hungry I could eat at Arby's. I no. bent my Wookie. I can't do Ralph, but that's no. like you're nowhere even close. Yeah, it sounds more like Marge. What do you mean? Boy, Adam's a real asshole. <laughs> Why? That's got to be the shittiest oh, impression I've ever fuck heard. Fuck Adam. But Marge. Barney? Arnold? Barney. Marge. <laughs> Barney? Fuck Adam. <laughs> Marge, you know this Adam Friedland guy? What a fucking cocksucker. Uh, Tell me. 
Homer. <laughs> That's good. Not Homer, bad. usually I disagree with everything you say in this bit, but that part was accurate. <laughs> that Adam guy is a real stupid <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> Thank you for finally agreeing with me. <laughs> well, that ought to do it, folks. Yeah, that was a really strong. Strong ending. Yeah. I got to go to the beach. Get sucked off by a mermaid. I love that. That it's a later episode, but when Krusty has the daughter, and they oh, go yeah. to the beach, and he's just tanning, and she's like, "Dad, look what I can do," or whatever. And he goes, "Look, kid, I'm not one of those dads that uh, says stuff or does things <laughs> or looks at you, yeah. but the love is there." Yeah. <laughs> that was a good episode. It was a later one. One of the the late ones. It's like every once in a while they do hit you with a gem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That one was good. Yeah. And Drew Barrymore plays the daughter, I believe. She does. She does play the daughter. I have a very clear memory of watching that. I was trying. I was trying to think of a way to riff on. Boy, did one I of, like to beat off one of, Drew one of the new. Yeah, me too. I remember I had a sex dream about Drew Barrymore when I was like ten. I had an early sex dream about. I her think too. it was when that movie Home Fries came out. And I was like, I have to jack off to her. I remember how mad so I, I go to was Blockbuster with my e. mom. I'm like, can we rent this movie? <laughs> <laughs> the hottest uh, appearance yeah. of Drew Barrymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, E.T. Um, E.T. did? No, no. No, I remember when I remember when, Letter- when she flashed Letterman. I was so jealous. Yeah. Marge, I'm jacking off to, to Drew Barrymore <laughs> and E.T. Homer, stop doing that. She's a child. <laughs> But Marge, I'd love to come. <laughs> uh, very nicely done. Bart, get in here. Can you do Hank Hill? Hank, I'll sell propane and propane accessories. No, not really. I get close. New Dang rule, it, Bobby. New rule. Lights out at eight thirty. That's pretty good. That's close. All, All right. right. Would you stop being such a fucking impatient, bloated piece of shit? You don't even have your beach. shoes on. I you're got half them naked. Right here. You can, you're not ready to leave. Yes, I am. No, you're not. I could leave at any moment. Where are you? You're picking them back up in Astoria, then go to the beach? No, I'm driving from here. Are they there already? Which beach are they at? Uh, I don't know. Brighton Beach? Oh, they're at Brighton? Oh, you can take the train back from there. You can well, take the train I already back. have my you can, car. He has his car. Fuck. Dude, I was at Brighton you guys yesterday. Come take the train. Dude, that is the best. I want, you know what? I do want to eat seafood today, but. I mean, that's such a fucking investment to go out to Coney. It's what do you mean an investment? He has a car. Time. Well, then I got to wait he's until he's... I, I got to come back and I got to wait until he's ready to leave. You know, stop. Once He's out on that beach until Greenpeace shows up and removes <laughs> it. That's true. That's true. They get a crane. <laughs> they have to scrub all the oil off of them with toothbrushes. It's no, like, those are my natural oils. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that internet, that early Please internet stop video. stop scrubbing me. The one where they explode the whale? Oh, yeah. That Stop, you're awesome. going to be late to the beach. It's me, Eldis, your roommate. <laughs> me, Eldis Homer. <laughs> I'm, a f- I'm a gay man. I'm, I'm a gay man. I'm a sneakerhead. I'm a total gay guy. I'm gay. My name is Eldis. My name's Eldis, and I'm gay now. <laughs> take that, bitch. Yeah, take that, Eldis. All right, good night. <laughs>